There comes a time in every industry when the looks of an item reaches its pinnacle and then it's just downhill from there. Have we reached this in snowmobiles? Hopefully you won't bite our heads off after watching this video, but here is our choice of the ugliest snowmobiles that the world should have ever seen. We highly recommend not getting those if you want to impress your crush and neighbors with a jaw-dropping machine. The first sled that comes to our mind is the Skidoo Freestyle 300. For some reason, this machine doesn't look like it belongs on powder. The shocks match the windshield and graphics along with the idler wheels, but the overall look reminds us of the Transformer Bumblebee, which in this case is not something you should be proud of. No one wants to be associated with a large flying insect while riding a killer machine. Trust us. $3,995 just to feel this kind of embarrassment is not worth it. Sadly, the statement, it could be worse, is a reality. Judge for yourself, the number 4 Polaris IQ 440 is a stupid mistake that we hope will never happen again. Well, maybe only when it changes the designer. But for now, this weirdo deserves nothing else just to be hidden under the blanket in the garage. Like, are we losing our minds, or does it really look like a failed attempt for a helicopter, but they forgot to give it wings? What a sad story. Looks like this $3,800 machine can't find a happy ending, especially not with those looks. The third sled on our list was Yamaha's first four-stroke snowmobile. And you know how it goes with the revolutionary machines. It's either the best thing the world has ever seen, or everyone tries to forget about it as soon as possible. In this case, the Yamaha RX-1 is a nightmare that will haunt you in the night. The machine was built on an all-aluminum Delta Box frame designed from scratch, and you can most definitely tell. Not that its design was as eye-pleasing as we would like, it also had some technical difficulties. So don't trust the salesman when he tells you that the beauty is on the inside. It is not. Just hide your $3,000 into your pocket and leave. If you want to have all the attention on you while riding, then the Polaris RR600 is the one. And don't worry, no one will fight over it with you. Thanks to its horrendous design and bright red color, Polaris ensured that RR600 shines on trails. This sled looks like an ugly twin of the race snowmobiles with all the racer graphics, with suspensions and handling completely unusable on the trail. But hey, it's a race replica, so you must look cool riding these, right? Trust us, you don't. Don't get us wrong, we're saying that as a friend to a friend. And if you want to be the next Ross Martin, save $5,000 and get yourself a proper killer machine. But wait, before you do, let's look at the unfortunate winner of today's video. Um, I'm sorry, can someone explain what this is? This can't be one of Skidoo's models. Surprisingly, it is, in particular, the Skidoo Formula 3. It was built to win over the oval racing class with its 598cc liquid-cooled engine and then-industry-exclusive rave valves. It all sounds nice, right? But what happens when machines and designers are at each other's throats? They gave the promising sled a look that ensured that this would be a fail. It looks like this is what happened with the Skidoo Formula 3. For some people, this was the worst heartbreak of all time. The only thing left for us is to avoid this ugly weirdo and not splurge $7,199 just to be made fun of. We definitely did not list all the ugly-ass snowmobiles. Go ahead and tell us in the comments what snowmobiles do you think deserve to be called the ugliest.